In this video, we'll discuss the characteristics of creating and managing environments as lesson 3 in module 7, Power Apps Administration. Let's know the lesson outlines. In this lesson, we will discuss the characteristics of creating an environment. After that, we will list the different management that we can apply on the environment. At the end, we will have a demo for creating and managing an environment. Let's begin with the creating environment. The Power Apps automatically creates a single default environment for each tenant. And this default environment is shared by all users in that tenant. And you can provisioning a new environment based on available capacity. So, if you have available capacity, you can create environments. Environments are provisioned in the Power Platform Admin Center. Admins can create environments. These admins can be Global Admins, Dynamics 365 Admins, and Power Platform Admins. Also, the administrators can govern environment creations. This means that the admin can control who can create environments in the Power Platform Admin Center. Besides that, the admins can see all environment with or without database in the Power Platform Admin Center. You can create one trial environment per user. And your license determines whether you can create environments or not. For example, Power Apps Plan can create trial and production environment. And if you license it through Microsoft 365 plans or Dynamics 365 Teams plans, so you can't create trial or production environments. There are different management that we can perform on an environment. First, you can control the creation of environments. You can restrict the creation of production or trials to admins only. Or if you want to enable users to create trial environment, you can set it to everyone. Another management is to change the environment type. We can change the trial environment to production environment. And we can change the production environment to sandbox environment. And also the sandbox to production. We will discuss these types in the demo. Another management is to add common data service database. You can add common data service database to an environment if it doesn't have one, as the environment can contain only one common data service. Or from the beginning, you can create an environment with database. Also, you can delete the environment, but you can't delete the default environment. We delete the unused environment to recover the storage space and to remove personally identifiable information, the BII. If you delete an environment, you can recover it if it recently deleted within 7 days of deletion, and you can use this PowerShell command to recover the environment. Recover admin power apps environment. But be aware that you should have at least 1 giga of unused storage capacity to recover an environment. Another management that we can do with environment is reset the environment. You can't reset all types of environment. You can only reset the sandbox environment to delete and reprovision it again. But be aware that the reset functions will permanently delete the environment components. You can backup and restore your environment. And you will find the some backups that take place without you having to do anything. Like what system backups do. Another environment management is copy the environment. The copy function of the environment only copy an environment to a sandbox environment in the same tenant. And any components that haven't been added to a solution can't be copied to the target environment. Also, you can copy from or to default environment. Another management is to move environment. You can move an environment from one tenant to another tenant. And after the moving process, you might need to reconfigure some applications and settings, such as server-side synchronization and SharePoint integration. Now we will go for a demo to create and manage environment. In this demo, we will learn how to create environment with database and without database, and apply database feature to an environment without database. And also, we will learn how to manage the creation of environments, and how to change the environment type, and how to delete environment, 
and reset environment after the deletion process. Let's begin our demo. We will begin our demo with the first step, creating an environment with database. First, you have to know that in order to create new Power Platform environment with or without common data service, there must be at least one gigabyte of common data service database capacity remaining. To create new environment from the Power Platform Admin Center, in the environment section here this is the available environment that we have to create new one press new in the name section type a name for your environment and try to make it a meaningful name then select the type of the environment you can create sandbox environment and the two type of the trial environment and you can create production environment some of these environments will need database by default if you try to create an environment whose type trial subscription based, it must have a database by default. In this demo, I will create a trial environment. Choose the type trial. The trial environment, you can create it with database or without database. When you create an environment, you will pick a geographical location. The location cannot be changed after the creation of the environment. This is the regions. When there is a region named Preview, this environment can currently only be created through the admin portal. Creating an environment in this region provides the ability to test the portal and the designer changes ahead of them rolling out to the normal regions. This is the Preview region. Then I will choose your region. Write the purpose of your environment. Then the step of deciding to create environment with database or without database. That depends on your needs. If you don't need common data service or model driven app or portal, you will create it without database. But if you need any of them, you will need to create a database to this environment. In this environment, I will enable the database to this environment and then click next. It will give you another form. To fill the database information, you will choose the language of your database, the URL, for example, I will make it test database, this is the URL of your database in the Dynamics, and the currency, then if you want to deploy sample apps and data, make it enable, in the security group section, if you want to restrict the access to this environment to some users, you can select while you're creating your environment. Select and then type the users that you want to restrict the access to them. And then click done. Now press save. It will create your environment. It will create your environment and it will appear here in the available environment. It preparing the instance for this environment. And when the state is ready, you can use this environment. The environment state is ready. I can browse this environment to check the database. This is the database version. I will open my site. Choose the environment that I just created. In the data, we can find the entities of common data service. here and you can create model driven apps and portal this is the first step in our demo to create an environment with database to use the common data service feature and create model driven apps and portal the second step is to create an environment without database back to the environment section the second step in our demo, we will create an environment without database and then apply the database feature. New environment, choose the type, trial. I will disable the button for creating a database for this environment and click save. Here the environment is created. I will browse the mix site and choose this environment. This is environment without database. If I browse the entities, no database found. And I can't create a model-driven apps or portals. 
no database found. As model-driven apps and portals are based on the common data service database, I will enable the database feature to this environment. Back to the Power Platform Admin Center, browse this environment. In the Add Database section, I will click Add Database, choose the language and the currency, and then click Add. It will add the database feature to this environment. It's preparing the instance of the database to this environment. It will take some time. Now, if I browse the environment, you can see the detail. You can see the database instance that just created for this environment. If I browse now the Micbar app site, and this is the environment in MVDB. If I browse the entities now, it will show me the list of entities that is available to this environment. And now I can create model-driven apps and portals. This is the second step in our demo to create environment with our database and then apply the database feature to this environment. You can control the process of environment creation from the above gear here. Select Power Platform setting. You can control who can create production and sandbox environment. You can set it for everyone or only for specific admins. And you can control who can create trial environment. Can be everyone or restricted to the admins only. If you want to prevent user from creating trial environment, then you will choose only specific admins and then save. This is successfully added. <laughs> You can convert your trial environment to production one, select it and convert it to production from the top or from here. Select your environment and then click convert to production and continue. And if you have the license then it will be converted to production and it might take several hours to convert the trial to production one. Another administrative function that you can do is deleting the unused environment. From the admin center, select the environment that you want to delete. You can delete this environment from the top here, delete, or from the details, delete. Write its name and then confirm. The environment is deleted successfully and you can recover it for the next seven days. This is the deleted environment. Refresh. It will take time to move the environment to the deleted environment. Here's the deleted environment. You can reset this environment within seven days. To reset the environment, select the environment that you want to recover. And you can recover it from here or from here. Continue. The environment is recovered successfully. It will take some time to recover it and it will appear in your environment in the admin center environment. Here is the environment that we just recovered it. Now we finished our lesson in which we have learned how to create environment with database or without database and apply the database feature to an environment without database and we learned who can create environment and how to restrict the creation of the environment to the admins only and we learned the different management functions that we can perform in an environment such as changing the environment type, deleting the environment, reset the environment within 7 days of deletion.